Hello everyone, this is Saurabh. Today I am showing you the configuration of master database in MySQL using the Docker. I am using Docker Composer file for the configuration of the MySQL. So now I will look on Docker Composer file. Uh, so this is the Docker Composer file uh, which has all the configuration. It's showing the version, services, MySQL, service name, DB1, image. MySQL 8. I am using uh, MySQL version 8. You can use uh, 5.6 or 5.7, whatever you uh, whatever you required. And uh, I'm, I have given the con container name MySQL hyphen DB1. Then you can give the restart. Op this is optional. TTY ports 3070 and 3006. Map I have mapped uh, with the host. And the in in environment I have given the MySQL database name that is the records. MySQL user name. Password, you can set the root password here. Then service tags and service name, these are the optional parameter. Now, the most important thing the volume. In volume, basically, uh, when you are configuring the MySQL, uh, and uh, if you if you need to restart the container, and if you keep the data data all the data in the container inside the container after restart, it will be uh, it will be lost. So you have to. Uh, uh, so in that case, you have to keep your all the data in uh, host and mount that and mount in the container. So I have created a directory. You can see here uh, data where I uh, where I will keep all the data of the container here. All all the data of the MySQL basically. And in config file, I have I have uh, find a simple config file. Up. Of MySQL that is my.cnf, you can have a look on it. Yes, MySQL D server ID because I am setting this a master as a master. In this video, I am not showing you how to configure slave. You have to wait for my new, uh, for my next video for the configuration of slave. So, I am given the server ID, bin log DB, which uh, database you want to replicate in slave. You have to give the name of that. Then, log bin file. And the default authentication plugin that I am using because uh, I am uh, MySQL native password I want to use. That's why. Otherwise, if you want to remove, you can remove, remove as per your requirement. Now just run the Docker Composer file. Now, now you can see that uh, uh, the container is created. Now, now you can check that uh, container is created. Docker PS. Yeah. So you can see that uh, container is created. This is the container ID and it's a uh, chatter it up 24 seconds. Ports, the name of which I have given in the Docker Composer file. Now you have to log in into the container. So for this, uh, you just, just need to run the so just log in into the inside the container you have to run the docker exe hyphen it mysql then container name and bash here you can run the command mysql hyphen u root hyphen t password now you can check the database You, you can check that you have the created database records. It is created. It has one table that is a student. Basically, I have already created the database and uh, the table, but there is no record in the table. You can see. Uh, basically, we, we will insert the uh, record in when we configure the slave so that you can check it. Now you have to check: Are you able to log in my into the MySQL from outside of the container? So for that, just exit from the container. 
first exit from the MySQL, then then exit from the container. Now run the command. Uh, before that, uh, you need to check the IP of the container. So for checking the IP of the container, you run to this command: docker inspect hyphen app the range dot network setting dot networks IP ranges. This will give the IP. So now run the MySQL command. MySQL new. Uh, so basically, from uh, login from outside of the container, I am using the test user which I have created or uh, which I I have given in Docker Composer file. Uh, let me check the password first. This is the password. And hyphen H and give the IP. Now you can log in. Now you can see that you have logged into MySQL. So databases. You can see the database records. So tables. So you have checked that uh, you have uh, already configured. Now you have configured the MySQL, and, and this will work as a master database so you can check here the so master status sorry uh, so basically so master you need to check the master that you have to become the root so exit from here and then again login into the container then login to the okay. So you can check the status of master. This is the bin log file name, bin log db, position is 150. You will require this info when you configure the slave. Now exit from here. Okay. Now you can see in go to the data. Here you can see that all the related files you including the data are here and these are the basically the configuration file. This is the bin log file. So in case if you can if you delete the container, all the data will be saved. Okay. So all the data will be saved here. So now you have seen that uh, you have configured the MySQL master. In my next video, I will show how to uh, configure slave using the Docker and then connectivity between master and slave. I will show the replication how it works. So, so, so before leaving, guys, please subscribe my channel and keep updated with the latest and upcoming videos. Thank you.